I gotta tell you, man, Florida's getting so busy. Because even when it's raining, people are still walking the lake. I would think, hey, I could go do this, and no one's gonna look at me odd for, you know, talking to myself into a phone. But uh, nevertheless, make this quick. Why am I? I'm, I'm kind of spooked out. Why should I be spooked out? People talk on their phones all the time, you know? I shouldn't be really spooked out about that. I don't know why I'm paranoid. I don't know. But uh, hey, um, quick, quick, quick. Uh, for those that don't know, I'm Jeff Adams, and this is Creative on the Mint. Pack it up, pack it in. It's time to begin. It's another edition of Creative on the Mint. All right, so I'm out and about doing this log. And you would think, would it rain outside? I would be inside. But I was trying to do it underneath the picnic table and it's still raining and people are just walking by like it's not raining outside. I was like, man, maybe I'll have some peace of quiet to do this thing. Hey, but by the way, if you've never seen this before, I'm Jeff Adams, how you doing? And I have a little vlog called Creative on the Men. Thanks for joining me. Kind of been in the creative space for the last 30 years. So I started this vlog back in January. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for giving me a try. So I started last week with just like, hey, gotta start doing these vlogs every day if I can. So I started, I kind of failed, but this is my second day vlogging in a row, which I'm happy for. But I wanted to share a story. I hope I don't get hit by a car as I'm doing this. But I wanted to share a story of a um, long time ago. I, believe it or not, I was a rapper. Yeah, you wouldn't figure that, would you? It's like 30, 32 something years ago. It's like 19 years old, 18 years old, something like that. I don't know. I have to do the math. Not great, I'm not quick on the math. I was a Christian rapper. And so about 30 years ago, come 2024, me and this guy, Nolly Williams, founded this Christian rap label. It was the first Christian rap label called Grape Tree Records. He had a publication called Heaven's Hip Hop Magazine. And I sent him my demo. I actually saw it in a Christian magazine called CCM. It was in this advertisement in the back. It said Heaven's Hip Hop Magazine, $9.95 for every month or something to get the publication. I can't remember what it was. Or maybe it was $9.95 for the whole year. That's probably what it was. So I sent him my demo. He called me. And then we just developed this relationship, calling each other back and forth, talking. I started writing for the magazine. And so I think I convinced him to start Grape Tree Records to release my record, which had a Christian rap group called DDC Plate Full of Funk. And so we released that record and man, the rest is history. I kind of left early on because my group split up and we were getting more alternative. I don't think we really fit the label that well. We were just different, a different breed back then. I guess I still am. So. Hey, long story short, when I started Revivalist Media, God gave me a download for a Christian hip hop documentary. And I didn't know how it was gonna happen, but I'm gonna save that story for another day. Um, me and Nolly reconnected, and he was in Orlando for some convention or something, and he said, you wanna grab coffee? So he grabbed coffee, just started talking, and he was telling me he's bringing Grape Tree Records back. I think he closed shop with it in 2012, maybe. But he says, hey, I'm, I'm working with Raz. And Raz was a rapper on the label, af way after me. But he was probably the best-selling artist on the label. So he goes, hey, Raz is going to be the CEO. You want to get involved in this thing? And I said, hey, why not? When God told me to do this, he said to say yes if it was in my, my wheelhouse. And I said, yeah. So here we are. We're relaunching Grape Tree Records relaunching the back catalog of all the classic music. But something really exciting is I'm going back in the studio. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a studio, but um, these days it's your laptop computer. So each person involved, and Nolly, the guy I co-founded the label with, he used to be an artist as well. So he's gonna release a single. Raz, who's the CEO, he's still an active artist. He's got tons of music. He's gonna release a single, and I'm gonna release a single. And the reason why we're doing that, no, 
I'm not trying to be an artist at 50 years old and tour, tour the world like I once did with all these other artists. No, not doing that. We're doing it for marketing reasons because we're, we're kind of relaunching the legacy part of it, but we are going to be a label signing new, new acts. So we're kind of developing ideas how we're going to do that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do a song and I'm kind of excited about it actually. Um, I've done lots of different music, like hip hop's always kind of been my foundation. But years after that, I would just kind of do whatever I wanted to do musically and throw it in a blender. But I think for this one, I'm gonna pay homage to the classic hip hop sound and try to do something along the lines. So um, I don't have any way to make music anymore. So I'm gonna be starting to talk to these beat makers. Yeah, I sound hip, don't I? I gotta talk to the beat makers. See if I can find anything that I'm feeling and just record it, release it. Kind of excited. So, one thing else to be following me if you're not following me. And uh, I appreciate you guys' time and uh, me, you know, with just spending time with me, these daily vlogs. But yeah, Grape Tree Records, man. And we're doing it again. We're doing it big. The resurrection of a label that's defunct. Grape Tree Records, the first Christian rap label ever is coming back to the scene. And you can be part of the story. As many of the stories of what's going on with Revivalist Media. So, hey, if you haven't, please, please, it's so important, hit that subscribe button. And also, I know this gets old, but please comment down below. Give this a like. Even if you watch this every day, if you don't, if you're new to the channel, please comment down below. Say, hey man, I've been watching because it really helps YouTube really push this out so I can get people's attention with this thing. And, and if you're interested in this type of content, if you're a creative, hopefully you are interested in this content. If you're not, you're welcome here as well because this, my friends, is going to be an amazing end of a year. And then when 2024 happens, it's gonna be insane. Here on Creative on the Men. See you tomorrow.